Hey guys, hey out there. Sorry for the delay. I had some technical difficulties trying to get my Facebook app to kept telling me to restart it. So I finally made it on here. So I hope you're all tuning in. Uh, I know it's kind of late, but I just wanted to share something with you that I've been really excited about. So I'll just get to it. And again, my name's Nicole Rexing. I'm a registered veterinary technician. I've been in holistic medicine about 13 years, and I have really exciting um, things to share with you guys tonight. Who out there, number one, who has dogs, give me a dog and emoji, um, because this is pretty much I'm talking about dogs, but, and then give me, um, some hearts if you guys get this magazine. It's called, uh, Dogs Naturally. This is the January, February edition. Um, and it's about mostly dog, it's the special, uh, orthopedic issue. So, what was really exciting about this is that a client at our, our a holistic veterinary clinic, I work at a holistic veterinary clinic, and this client took some pictures of an article in this magazine and sent it to us. And we were so excited to see that what we've been doing is getting validated, that we're getting in magazines now uh, for the holistically minded. So, so here's the, what the title looks looks like okay um if you're all tuning in tell me where you're tuning in from so i'll i'll know that you're watching and i appreciate you uh, tuning in tonight it's so late but here's the article all right managing chronic inflammation it says promoting the body's internal and powerful antioxidant network can reduce chronic inflammation and disease at a cellular level this is huge guys that basically we're saying we can turn the genes on that reduce inflammation. So this article was written by uh, Dr. Katie Cong Congus. She is a holistic uh, veterinarian out of San Diego, um, California. She has an integrative holistic practice and she wrote this, this article and Dr. Schaefer and I, uh, she likes this magazine because it's, um, it's got a lot of good information in it, and it's mostly written by veterinarians or PhDs or people with background. So this is not a magazine with um, that blogs about their opinions and what they think. This is a scientifically proven stuff. So we're getting to the root of inflammation. So in her first paragraph. She talks about the current medical science in both human and veterinary fields recognize that chronic inflammation is a key component in all diseases, okay? And it's because of inflammation, the inflammatory conditions including common ailments such as allergies, asthma, autoimmune disease, cancer, diabetes, dementia, and heart disease. This means that learning how to prevent and reverse inflammation will go a long way towards preventing and minimizing disease as well as show, slowing the aging process and keeping your pets and ourselves healthy and more vigorous for life. Drop me a one if you would love for your pets to live longer. If you, knew, if you could know, learn of a way to help your pet live a longer quality life, Give me, drop me a one, okay? So I know you're all out there. So again, we're talking about inflammation. Uh, what is inflammation? A lot of people think of inflammation as getting an injury, right? When you you um, smash your finger, you know, it hurts, right? It gets inflamed, it swells. Um, irritation, like skin issues, itching, right? Mosquito bites. Um, you know, that when they, when it bites, it causes inflammatory response. So it, you know, causes inflammation, um, infection, um, also causes inflammation. Um, so now it's a natural response that the body has, but here's the thing. A little bit of inflammation is good. A lot of inflammation is bad, especially over chronic time. Chronic inflammation means it's something in the body that's, con this keeps going and going and going to the point it's attacking itself. It's hurting itself instead of repairing itself. So, so what are the things that cause inflammation? 
All right, so again, we're getting into this right here. Here's oxidative stress. I know this is backwards. I might just turn this camera around. I don't know if I can. But I looked up the things that cause oxidative stress. Here we go. Um, I know you probably can't see it, but there's a lot of organs that are affected. Um, probably the most um, ones you know uh, mostly are cancer, uh, trauma in the brain, stroke in the lungs, asthma, uh, joint arth rheumatoid arthritis or just arthritis in general, the heart, heart disease, uh, skin burning, psoriasis. So those are just some, you know, some things you can see um, that mm -hmm. oxidative stress is basically causes inflammation. So I know you all can't read this, but if you want a copy of this article, I can um, email it to you. So if you drop, um, send info in the comments or, or private message me, I can send you... Um, the info on on this article but oxidative stress is basically resting from the inside out so your body is resting from the inside out and that causes free radicals and that is caused by food the foods we eat the air we breathe oxygen or environmental sources right um, external antioxidants are one-to-one -one. so all your blueberries your your strawberries, all those antioxidants that are good, they're only a one-to-one -one ratio. But your internal antioxidants, what we can turn on in our body, what our body's supposed to do, is a one-to-one -one million. Look at that, guys. Isn't that huge? And I'm going to read this right here to you. It says, at the root of inflammation and disease is oxidative stress. In fact, more than 200 diseases have been linked to oxidative stress in research, and the topic is mounting. Okay. So more and more research is coming out about how oxidative stress affects our DNA, which then, of course, also causes inflammation. So what do we do? We know, we know now about this oxidative stress, so how do we reduce it? We know that the one-to-one -one ratio is not working. That's like, you know, throwing a Dixie cup on a house fire. It, it does something, but it doesn't take care of the problem. We need a sprinkler system in every room of our house, right? So that's where we go and turn on our free radical. We have an antioxidant in our, in our body. So the key is turning that on. So breaking the free radicals, um, breaking free of free radicals. So we need to learn that there is this mechanism in our body called NRF2 pathway. This pathway goes through our body, and this is about nutrigenomics, and I know you guys hear me talk and talk and talk about this, but this is huge. This is why, because we've been using this in our vet clinic with great results. Foods, using food and natural resources to help change our DNA, or change our gene expression. So our genes are not permanent. We do not have to, um, you know, demise to the diseases that we think we're going to get. We, there is a better way. So nutrigenomics is how nutrients affect our DNA. So in here it says NRF2 is responsible, I'm reading it word for word, guys, is responsible for detecting cellular damage. Once damage is detected, NRF2 responds by signaling the DNA to produce powerful antioxidant enzymes, anti-inflammatory proteins, and detoxification or stress response genes. Therefore, the NRF2 signaling pathway literally helps the body heal itself. Is that not huge, guys? Did you guys see that? It's huge. It literally helps to heal itself when you turn on this pathway in your body. All right? So, who wants to learn more about that, right? Who wants to turn on that pathway in your body? All right. So, last closing here. You can see what a bad, a good cell looks like when it's got free radicals, and look what it does to the cell. The NRF2 turns it back to the good cell, all right? So that's what we want. So the pathway to success was actually, they discovered in 1990s, all right? They discovered this pathway in the 1990s, and they found that this um, the production of SOD, glutathione, if you guys don't know what glutathione, look that up, it is a natural um, 
antioxidant enzymes in our body that is basically when it, it is on, it goes around and helps your body fight oxidative stress and heal, okay? So when, but as we age and all those good things that we have start going down, and then in pets and in dogs, dogs have seven times more oxidative stress than we do. And that's why they age seven times faster. That's why dogs are getting cancer at two years old, which I've dealt with that. I have a, my dog is going to be 14 this summer. She's a boxer, if you know anything about boxers. And she's been had four types of cancer. So, but since we've been turning on her pathway in her body and reducing her oxidative stress with obviously good food and um, herbal therapy, she is still with us. So she's doing amazing. So we got to turn on this pathway to increase glutathione, turn on our SOD, and turn on our catalysts that go in and, and clean up all this damage. So basically when you have oxy, high oxidative stress, you're basically your, your garbage men, the people that go around and clean up your body are basically being turned off. They're, they're no longer doing their job. They're lazy. But the pathway when it's turned back on, then they woke, are waking back up and they go around and do, do their job. So researchers have shown, however, that the, the body ages, the NRF2 activity begins to decline. Unfortunately, it's now known that the activation of NRF2 pathway can be triggered by certain foods, herbs, and also by exercise and other lifestyle choices, such as intermittent fasting. And you know, probably seen me talk about that. Um, this gives us an um, exciting new approach to addressing health and wellness at a cellular root level as though we use in nutrigenomics, okay? So, so promoting the NRF2 activation. So here's, here's where she talks about that now there are s products out there proven to activate this NRF2 pathway. But here's the kicker. There's a lot of knockoffs out there because everybody's learning about this and there's only one that's been proven to um, reduce oxidative stress 40 percent in 30 days there's only one product on the market and so there's only one product that has peer reviews research about it so this is why this is so huge um, it turns it on and that's only for 30 days but the longer you're on it the more it activates it and um, and obviously it does with pets. So this is what's so important. This was a human product. Here's the human product, this little pill, okay? And then what she's talking about is coming into a pet product. So right here is the, the canine version that also has joint support and omegas in it. So oop, she, she talks about how that the synergetic blend is created for canine specific product. And it demonstrates it effectively reduces oxidative stress in dogs as evident in blood tests and clinical results improved mobility, flexibility, and cognitive function. Um, in summary, as numerous diseases and different conditions are linked to oxidative stress, affecting, uh, affecting activation of NRF2 pathway allows a fundamental approach to affect and improve health and, at a cellular level. This is beneficial for both a treatment and therapeutic and a preventative standpoint, okay? So um, the last paragraph I'm gonna read because I think it's very important. It says, in fact, in 2015, a scientific review article, okay, it froze. <laughs> um, it says NRF2, okay, Washington State said, if I, I know I kind of phased out, um, Washington State said that we may be on the verge of a new literature of health effects of NRF2, which may well become the most extraordinary therapeutic and most extraordinary preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. This is Washington State saying that, Washington State University. It's in our opinion, okay, the same research went on to say, it's in our opinion that raising NRF2 is likely to be the most important health promoting approach in the foreseeable future. All right, guys, this is breakthrough stuff here. This is stuff that your, your normal vet will probably not know about because they're traditionally minded. They're not learning about the holistic approach of how foods and nitro, you know, phytonutrients can actually activate the body. So this is basically taking what's God's made 
and they formulated it and come up with a recipe to activate it 1800% more effective than if you were to take these herbs individually. So, so this is huge. If you guys want this article, please comment in the comments, send info. I can send, I can email it to you. Um, if you have Dogs Naturally magazine, I highly recommend you get this. Uh, very great information. But I will tell you this right here has changed the lives of me. Got a call. Sorry about that. But it has changed their lives. And I've had dogs, two dogs with cancer that were both uh, said to be, oh. to be terminal and that but this has helped give them quality of life. I'm not saying it, I'm making any claims, but it's helped them live a quality life. So you guys need to look into this. Um, do your own research if you like to. If you want it, the studies, I'd be happy to send you those as well. And you, you, it is really exciting research. So thank you for tuning in. Again, this is Nicole Rexing. I'm a student from Dale, Indiana. I'm a registered veterinary technician and I work for a holistic veterinarian for the last 13 years. And it's been amazing seeing the transformation, not only with the pets, but also horses. And I, horses also benefit from this greatly. And I am proud to say I'll have a 37 year old horse in May. And that is doing really well. So I hope you guys take a look at this, get this magazine. Again, read this article. It has a lot of other good information in there. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to talk with you about it. And I hope you all have a blessed evening. Good night.